Dana with Creatively Created Crochet. I just want to welcome you all to my channel. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Today I'm bringing you another From the Hook Friday and I'm very excited. I know it's coming out late a little bit so I'm going to try to make this as brief as possible. Um, I just wanted to share with you some things that I worked on this week. I am super excited. I've been getting some things to build a business. If you are following my Instagram channel or my Instagram page, you will be able to see all the things that I have been acquiring for the business to get this whole thing organized and set up. Um, I have been really getting some things for my picture taking, um, for my packaging, for my shipping. All those things are really taking place right now, so I'm very excited. Um, if you are watching this video right now, I would love it if you would hit the thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel. Next week, we'll be doing the first giveaway of the month. I am doing the two giveaways this month. One is for just for being January and the other one is for me hitting 2,000 subscribers so in order for you to be able to be eligible for the giveaway you must be a subscriber of this channel and you must like this video and the giveaway video as well so I'm not gonna hold you up too long but I just wanted to share with you some things that I've worked on I'm gonna start off with two things right here they're they're two um, of the same things they're just different colors I used red heart stripes yarn And these are the the Kinsey Twisted Cup Cozies. So these are really nice. I like these a lot. I wanna I wanted to put them in my cup cozy template that I got from Naughty Boss. I just didn't get a chance to yet, but these are really nice. I like the fact that they have that texture to them, so they're really great on a coffee mug, and they don't keep get your hands hot, and they keep them nice and cool so that you don't burn yourself. I don't know if any of you ever use cup cozies, but they are really great. And I did a lot of head warm. I had, uh, headbands and ear warmers this week um, this one I did I really fell in love with it I've been wanting to do it for a while I just never did it's by the awesome Miranda at crazy for crochet mama this one is called the forever cute ear warmer and I love this guys I don't know if I can put it on right now but cuz I got all this hair but I like the fur anything furry like you know, I was making my ear warmers and things like that. I mean, my neck warmers. And I always add the fur or the fun fur. I like that, guys. I don't know if I can really rock it with this hair, but... I don't really know, but I like it. I like the fur. If you can see, it's really nice. I did this with a line brand, like the thick yarn. The bulky uh, six-weight. And then I did this with the faux fur yarn. So this is really, really nice, guys. I like this a lot. This is nice, guys. I didn't mean to stretch it out, but I do like it. That's why I really don't wear, put things on, because I just don't want to stretch them out. I made another one. This is by the awesome, this is by the awesome, guys, come bear with me. This is by the awesome, beautiful Taylor Lynn. I made this, it's called the, um, this is called the Arbor Ear Warmer. And it's been going around really popular right now. Um, I'm really loving it because I made it with the sheepish yarn and um, it's by Burnett and it's called Neon Green or Green Neon. I don't know if I can put this on. It's not woven in guys so I like it because it has that crossover feel. I love all my, it kind of gives me that Lola ear warm or head wrap feel because it has that little cross in the front. So, I like that because it has a cross and it's chunky. I've never made a really chunky ear warmer before. I actually doubled this yarn because it's a four weight. So, I doubled it for fun. So, that's cute. The next thing I want to show you is this awesome ear warmer by the beautiful Ashley at a crafty concept. Again, I didn't weave in my ends. This is called the Bobble Twist, um, the Bobble Twist headband. And it has lots of chunkiness. Look at those bobbles. I made this with um, Lion Brand Heartland Yarn, and it is in the color of Joshua Tree. Now, I've never used Joshua Tree before, and I haven't really made many things in greens and things like that. And I said, wow, I need something in an olive green. And I had a giveaway, and I gave away the olive green that I did have. And so I'm like, I don't have any more olive green. And I went through my stash, and I'm like, I have something like this. It's really nice. I'm trying to see. I want to put it on. Let me see which way I want to put it on, guys. Okay, and then when I made this, it started off, you have to start this off with a foundation half double crochet, and I've never really been good with those guys, so I was like, I'm going to try to avoid it, and then something was like, no, don't avoid it, because when I tried to avoid it, it did not stretch over my head, and um, I was like, you know what, 
I have to do the foundation because everyone says the foundation um, stitches are always stretchier. And so I was like, okay, let me just buckle down and try it. And I did. And when I did um, buckle down and try it, it actually um, stretched out a lot better. So I was like, okay. So I like the texture. You guys like this texture. I definitely am a big fan of texture. Hats, beanies, scarves. I'm, I'm, I like this one though, guys. I like this one. But yes, I love this one. Mm. I like this color as well. I don't know. It makes me feel like I need some fingerless gloves to match. Mm -hmm. Maybe coming soon. But yes, those are some things I made. I have one whip right now that I'm working on. Um, I'm going to share with you right now. And I'll have pictures of it when it's just finished because I'm going to be finishing it tonight. Um, this is going to be a beanie. This is an ear flat beanie that I'm making for my husband. And it's going to be a sports team. So I'm going to be putting a sports team patch here. And um, I'm excited about that because he loves beanies. And last year I didn't get to make him one. So this year I'm making him one. And I'm going to put the, um, the strings on there, the tassels. The fringe, I'm going to be putting that there. I'm going to have the team here. I'm going to go trim around the edges. So it's going to be nice. And um, it's going to be perfect for him. So I'm excited about that. I'm so glad you all watched this video. I'm all done. I said I didn't want to be too long because it is late. And I know you've been ready for the video. So I just want to share some things that I have. And again, to let you know, next week is a big giveaway. The first one. So be ready. Tell a friend if you want. And, and be ready to answer. So again, I thank you all for watching. I will be doing giveaways again. I'll be doing part two of organization. So you'll see me how I organize. You'll see me how I set up things. You'll see all those good things. So be ready for that. I'm so glad for you. To, I'm so glad that you watched this video and tuned in tonight. Thank you for your time. I appreciate you all. And until next week, thank you so much and love you.